my mom just texted that there is a shooting by our home. Hope everything will be okay and everyone will be quiet who has to be quiet and everyone will be safe. Mm. Yeah. On a different note, Saturday, still crazy week sleepy, tired, exhausted, you name it. I had my session in the morning, the Akashic reading at the mor in the morning. And I had a very interesting reaction at some point. Usually I'm a person whose like, hands, feet are always cold. And at some point I felt so hot, like I had here, well, where the Mickey Mouse hat is, like I had this um, like sphere of worms, like, like a sun, some sort of, internal sun i felt so hot that was so interesting and my biggest outtake of the session is that i have to listen to my inner voice because a lot of things i've heard today without me voicing them beforehand I had these thoughts, but I didn't do any action. And sometimes you need to hear your own thoughts back to you from someone who is some kind of authority for you. And that's important. That makes you believe in yourself more and actually do stuff. And the main thing I have to do right now and I have to pay a lot of attention to right now is basically my body. Because whatever I want, it's all possible, but right now my body, my physical body is not ready for it because I'm that weak. I will not be able to endure anything. I will just burn myself this way. So yeah, I think I will give myself tomorrow to kind of, you know, rest more and then there will be Monday and I will start doing things on Monday like little by little you know one can say that I heard very obvious things and I agree but it's not the first time in my life when I had to hear obvious things from someone who is some kind of authority for me. And then that made me act, like do stuff. An important thing is for me to accept that I can't have everything immediately. I have to accept that I have to gradually build up whatever I'm doing. And if it's just like one day per week, let it be one day per week. If it's like meditation, it can be like one minute. 
start with one minute. Because that's like a very hard thing for me. I didn't, I don't know. Like I have very weird relationship with meditation. And then okay, let it be one minute per day or per week. Like body work is very important. And that was very important for me to hear. Yeah. Big developing my own physical ability to endure things should be my main focus right now. It's interesting. It turns out that I have very good intuition and I feel a lot of things. I feel people. But, you know, sometimes I understand that later. Like, I knew that. I knew that. It's just sometimes hard to understand whatever I'm feeling. Is it something I want it to be? Is it something I fear it to be? Or is it something I know it will be like that? And only later it comes to me like, oh, I knew it. I actually knew it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Funny how sometimes we have to actually meet and get to know ourselves. We spend so much time trying to get to know other people, but we don't spend enough time trying to learn ourselves, to figure out ourselves. We can be very cruel, very demanding of ourselves, and at the same time be very compassionate towards other people. And that's very sad that we do that to ourselves. And it's a journey. It's a journey. Even like meeting ourselves and learning ourselves, it's a journey. And it's like one step at a time as any other journey. That, that's, that's an exciting journey. Mm. Like meeting that version of yourself that you don't know but that exists already. Mm. I'm excited about it, even though I'm very tired, like crazy tired. Crazy exhausted. I feel like I am on the right track. And probably this is the moment when again I understand that even though it was not my decision, but this separation with my husband was a good thing for my personal growth. For my per personal growth, it's a good thing and it's a necessary thing. You know, sometimes to be born, you have to go through very scary and painful experiences 
red, it's like rise from ashes. Like when a kid is being born, a child. I'm sure this poor creature goes through a nightmare while getting out of the belly into the real world. I'm sure <laughs> this poor creature is thinking at that moment like that's it, I'm dying, this is the worst thing that could happen to me. But actually, that is just the beginning. And maybe this really is just the beginning for me. Because in this marriage, I put myself aside and made another person a priority, which is the worst somebody can do to themselves. And actually to that person as well, because it's really hard when you are somebody else's center of their universe. I think it, it's suffocating for that person. Yeah. Probably right now I'm finally on my way to accepting it. This is both exciting and crazy scary because it comes with responsibility and the responsibility is crazy scary I take responsibility for my own life <laughs> like i never did that before and it's crazy scary to do it right now very scary very scary yes like physically i'm a grown-up person but <laughs> it is what it is crazy scary but exciting and i will try to keep my focus on exciting and not scary And I hope you will go with me on this journey. All those folks who reached out and who didn't but go through the same nightmare right now, let's go on this journey. And let's figure out what we are capable of. I'll see you tomorrow.